Madame Toulouse. Ah, what column should that go under? Extramarital fondling. Right. <laughs> God, it's like Dante's flop house down there. I know, isn't it? Yeah. It's an offence to decent Catholic eyes. Yes, it is. I should pluck mine out. Just remind me to pluck them out later. Right. Pluck eyes out. Realise What's going on? Hideous racket is a very expensive Italian. Mm. And reputed to be a great and insatiable lover. Is he? Is he? Mm. No, personally, I found him quite an adventurous and sweaty. Always getting ravioli this and spaghetti that, going on and on about his mother all the time. Uh oh, the Marquise de Montpellier <gasps> is having trouble keeping her tongue down her own throat. Uh, <laughs> apparently, it's been down so many, it's learnt six languages on its own. <laughs> Full time. What? 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 Madame the Plot <gasps> has gone on to Act Two before the rest of us. Is this absolutely necessary? Excuse me. Yes, it is. <laughs> Marie Antoinette relies on my mistress for all of her scandalous gossip. I am her eyes and her ears, Buffon. Thankfully not her brain. That's looked after by a small plant in Salzburg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm rather surprised she's not here. She normally likes a bit of opera. No, only the German stuff. She don't like it unless they sound like they're trying to shift some phlegm. <laughs> <laughs> Take the strain. I'm going over the edge. There's some activity here in the oh, stalls. Oh, right. Oh, oh la la! Who's <laughs> adulterous milky orbs are those? Spit on her, then she'll look up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, she's with her husband. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, careful, oh. careful. That's it. Um, people have no sense of indecency. Continue, l'opera, continue! <laughs> Here. Hope we spell orgy, right? <laughs> I, I trust I acted correctly in bringing this to Her Majesty's most urgent attention. Rotsbush! Her Majesty says she's nauseated. Oh, uh, please inform Her Majesty that I, I am also a rat's brush. No, bosh. bosh. But I'm bosh bosh. Oh, no, no, it's one bosh, isn't it, with the rats on the front? Rats bosh. Rats bosh. You have to sound a bit like you're trying to get a wasp out of your throat, like this. Rats bosh. Will you please go and wait outside? Her Majesty does not speak to people from the lower orders. A class, I might add, you would have to stretch to get up to. <laughs> backwards, backwards. <laughs> Apologise, Your Majesty. One has tried to educate her in the ways of our Lord. I see you as a very Austrian woman, Madame. And I say this not because you also have the big bottoms. <laughs> I say it because you fear God. Oh. But how sad, Majesty, that so many of my countrymen and women do not. <laughs> <laughs> of course, in Austria, this would never happen. We go to the opera to watch opera. Sure, when we watched it, we feel wonderful. We go home, we make whoopee. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you ever eat whoopee? <laughs> whoopee. An excremental Tyrolean onion and radish salad. Hence the necessity for leather shorts. Oh, oh it's exquisitely appetizing. The Wappen Wuppe. Ah, we must get you some as a reward for all the vital and fearsome work that you do without a finging word to make this wicked world a more versatile place in which to. 
Liv? Dvärl! Men Peldash är Bavarian Cobb! My point that woman in the sky, she could knock out a blackbird with one syllable. Sideways, sideways, sideways. 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 You can get rid of that. Well, apparently it's very good whooping. I know, but I'm in rather delicate health at the moment. I was rather nauseous this morning. Give it to the poor. They've all got the squitties anyway, haven't they? <laughs> oh, Mr. Buffon! Buffon! <clears throat> did you see him? What did he say? I spoke briefly with the court physician, uh -huh. madame, who, after great deliberation, concluded that your ailment might have something to do with the small illness. Mm. Look, ill. Of course I'm ill. Look at me, I'm all floppy. Look. <laughs> I did mention an alarming degree of flop. Did you mention these? Well, they've always been floppy. No, pain, the pain. I can hardly bear for them to be touched. Oh. Yeah, well, luckily for you, they're not often, are they? No. <laughs> I mean, I might be dying of some disgusting disease. Like the liberatic screebles or the... Yeah, or the mulch. Well, the mulch, yeah. the mulch. Yeah. I mean, I've recently been in very close contact with the peasantry. Just yesterday, we scraped two of them off the wheels of her carriage. Yes. <laughs> Is that all he said? Is that all? Nothing more? No. There was something else. Oh. Well, come on out with it. I'm the most hardy of women, monsieur. I shall not sway or swoon. Oh. He said you're probably pregnant. Mm. Is that? Right, oh. <laughs> mind the booze, mind the <laughs> <laughs> it is a sad day, my dear, when one can't fondle a man at the opera even during the dull bits. I do so hate it when Her Majesty is angry. She has the unfortunate habit of staring down her nose. It's like being reprimanded by two buglers. <laughs> <laughs> what the king sees in her, I have no idea. Though, like most Austrians, she does have quite a large bottom. Her pendulous posterior, my dear, is not the problem. Our adversary here is the Comtesse de Vache. Oh, no! She <laughs> not. It is she who spies on us. She who tells everything. Well, then, I'm quite certain that she does it with the very best intentions. My dear Fournique, are you afraid of her? I think perhaps a little, yes. Then you must take comfort, my dear. One day, she will put a foot wrong. And when she does, I shall be there to ruin her forever. <laughs> this is a disaster. I don't do mums to be. As if she weren't bulgy enough. Oh, give over. Here. <laughs> One must consider the possibility. But I, I haven't, um, you know, I haven't. Well, obviously, I have. <laughs> yeah. What, with a man? Yes, with a man. <laughs> but not of late. Uh, Come on, think. <laughs> what, weeks? <laughs> Months? <laughs> oh, God, years. But, <laughs> but I refuse to be questioned by, by someone who's been occupied more times than Constantinople. <laughs> But surely, madam, your husband... Oh, he's so old, isn't he? I mean, the flesh is willing, but... Yes, yeah. the eyesight's not up to it. No. <laughs> I mean, he'll normally spend a happy ten minutes pleasure in the bedside table, monsieur. <laughs> no, no. No, I'm not with child. I just need something to build up my strength. Give me some lunch, is it? Hmm? All right. Anything special to tempt madame's palate? Oh, uh, hmm, hmm. Uh, yes, do you know, I think I'll try some of that, um, whoopee, after oh, all. good choice, yeah. Um, some raw kidneys. Um, yeah. And for a pudding? A pudding, uh, some soap. I'm rather piggish, but... <laughs> well, some soap. <laughs> well, come on. C can you see anything? Might I ask what exactly I'm looking for? 
months ago, monsieur. Well, how would I know? Oh, hopeless. Bring me that mirror and warm that spoon. <laughs> Surely, madame, this sort of thing is best left to the palace physician. Yes. The palace physician knows nothing of pregnancy, sir, except that he's responsible for about ten a month, I believe. It's all right, she's back. Oh, excellent. Yes. Any luck? Well, I've just been having a long chat with the palace cook, you know, yes. old Courgette. Oh, okay. As you know, she's had an astounding number of buns in her oven. Mm -hmm. And she's given me two foolproof pregnancy tests to do right. on you. Right, what do we do? Right, the first one involves this. <laughs> now, don't worry, it goes under the pillow. Oh, and after a few days, if you find yourself waking up in the mornings mm -hmm. with a terrible urge to vomit, right. you're pregnant. It does actually work without the fish. In fact, it's much more accurate without the fish. <laughs> Not terribly No, right? No, well, we've got a very no. interesting alternative that involves frog spawn. <laughs> frog spawn? Yeah. Yes. Blindfold yes. and some bellows. <laughs> right, yeah. That's frog spawn? Yes. Well, don't worry, it comes from the finest ponds in France. Right. Just think of it as sort of huge caviar. Right. No, I don't think I could eat fox spawn, I'm sorry. Well, that's just as well, because it goes in the other end. <laughs> Hence the bellows! Okay. Right. The blindfold? Uh, that's for me, I'm afraid. <laughs> right, here we go. Thanks a lot. Right, roll over, mistress. Roll over. Am I about there? Um, excuse me, before we proceed, <laughs> yeah. how is this meant to determine if Madame is pregnant? Huh? Ah, good point, yeah. No, I don't understand how it works, really. Well, that doesn't really matter. Oh, come on, let's just do it for fun. <laughs> Pardon? A doctor, Madame. A, a doctor, Lisette. What we need is a doctor. This physician is sufficiently qualified. No, oh, not half. Two years at the Research Institute for Hideous and Repulsive Afflictions. <laughs> he came out almost totally cured. Gracious <laughs> lady, you honour my humble lodging with your presence. What is no, no, no. for? Her. She's nothing. Here, hold my muff, Lizette. <laughs> <laughs> Contest of Ash. Oh. Now, I will get straight to the point. I want you to uh, look down there um, and ascertain if there's anything unusual. <laughs> down there? Uh, uh, um, uh, the, the cuckoo's nest, monsieur. The, uh, the gates of love. The, the portals of paradise, monsieur. The nether regions. Oh. Holland? <laughs> Holland. Yes, Holland. I want you to examine the whole of Holland and ascertain if it is up the tough. <laughs> My mistress wishes to know if she is pregnant. Oh, so crude, so crude. Oh, I see. I, I, I shall have to ask you uh, some questions of a rather delicate nature. Yes, officer, I, I am prepared. Uh, yes, uh, when was the last time Madame had relations? Um... 1774. <laughs> that would be, let me see, eight years ago. Yes. Any recent visits by an archangel? <laughs> Any unusual stellar activity over the bedroom? Any unusual stellar activity? He's mocking you. Oh, is he? Is he? Is he mocking me, monsieur? One cannot reboot, madame without sowing at least one, preferably within recent history. <laughs> so unless the gentleman managed to concentrate on the wallpaper for 96 months, <laughs> we are not anticipating another happy event. Oh. Here, uh, what, here, here, here. What about if the last time was six weeks ago? Capital. Oh, merd. What? Come here, here, what? here. Huh? Well, it was Marie Antoinette's masked ball, wasn't it? I don't remember that. Oh, you must remember it. You went as a grape. <laughs> well, I remember that. I just don't remember being plucked. I... Well, <laughs> Madame was a tad tipsy. Yes. You did go into the orange grove for three hours with someone, and I wasn't there. I didn't see it with my own eyes. All I'm saying is the next day you was covered in juice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was he a 
good aspect. Oh, mm -hmm. handsome as a stallion. Oh. Rich? As rich a man as there is in all <gasps> this fair land of ours, of which we are so rightly proud of. <laughs> God. The king. <laughs> if you wanted to do an internal, now's your chance. Oh. Yes. Well. <laughs> and uh, so he assured Madame there was nothing to worry about. He said, and I quote, that he had never seen an emptier uterus. And this from a man with a very well-travelled speculum. Most comforting. <sighs> <laughs> and when did you first suspect he was a Pratt? Delightful news. I caught a glimpse of her this morning. Where? Stuck in a doorway. Naturally, I flew to her assistance. Oh, but Maman, how she begged and pleaded, and I, in my youth, was unable to interpret a desperate request. But then I asked a footman and did indeed bugger off. Colin Bean? <laughs> Pregnant? Of course. She assured me it was just a bout of wind. They were such a bulge, it would have to be a trapped hurricane. <laughs> we must discover how it occurred. Probably carrots. My coach horse after a large lunch often keeps me cool in the summer. The father of her child, my dear. The Comtesse de Vash has no lovers. And I fear her husband is somewhat deficient. The man couldn't knock up an omelette. And I should know he's had free range with my eggs many a time. <laughs> There's a man who works for the Comtesse by the name of Buffon. I knew him! <laughs> a most kind and unusual gentleman. I want you to throw yourself at him. Uh, I'm sorry? I do it myself, but I'm having a baron in ten minutes and they're both urgent. <laughs> throw yourself at him, and at the height of passion, try to find out who's catheterised the Comtesse. Maman, while it's true I am still a novice in the ways of love... You'll pick it up! One is rarely asked to do more than blow out the candle. I feel Monsieur Buffon likes his candle snuffed differently. <laughs> do you defy me, Evelyn? Mm? Oh, it's a tragedy. Look, I've, I've lost my waspish waist with mm. a, my boyish figure. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Got elephant's ankles. Yeah, I know. What's it going to be like when they swell up? Yeah. <laughs> it's weeks since I've shown my face at court. Mm. What are they saying? What are they saying at court? They're saying that Madame has got yeah. something to hide. Oh, then I could. Mm. Oh, now listen. I want you to send word to my husband. Well, the old cont? Yes. <laughs> Tell him that I, that due to the maunch, I, I am surprisingly and horrifyingly overweight, and he must come immediately. Well, certainly before this drops out. Your husband? Yes. Why? For appearances, Lizette, appearances. I mean, if we're seen together, it might stop those evil tongues wagging and douse any suspicion. Well, don't you think he'll have a couple of suspicion himself? <laughs> no, I shall, I shall use my womanly wiles. No, word of advice. Yeah. Don't use your womanly wiles. Oh. Well, because, frankly, they never work, do they? Oh. Tell him a lie. Tell him it's his. A lie? Honoré, it might be old, he might be decrepit, he might be short-sighted, he might be practically senile, and then yeah. you'll fall for it. Yeah, yes, you're yeah. Right. Rest my case. <laughs> Do I look heterosexual? <laughs> oh, oh. Don't stop blubbing, Evelyn. You're not the first woman ever to be hit with a citrus. <laughs> Actually, I'm not blobbing. <laughs> Though I have every reason to blob, and indeed, on many occasions, I have blobbed, <laughs> gaining, I'm sure, reputation as an incorrigible blobber. <laughs> you dare to laugh? Maman, is it not amusing that you, who have lain with hundreds of men, though by no means a trollop, could be so wrong about this one? 
while I, who until recently had only known complete satisfaction whilst fingering the leaves of my press flower album, <laughs> could be so right. <laughs> I have not finished with Monsieur Buffon, Evelyn, and neither, my dear, have you. There's an idea. There's an idea, yes, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Penny from Madame's Thoughts. Oh. Well, they don't actually think we got pennies here in France. I was just thinking, if I give birth to a king, that would make me king mother, wouldn't it? Huh? Well... Well, Peter's king mother at the moment, but you know. I think Madame would have to be married to the king. Well, bastard Peter's king mother, is it? <laughs> but I think I'd still probably get a little palace somewhere, wouldn't I? I think Madame is missing one important point, mm -hmm. which is that His Majesty already has a son and heir, a beautiful bouncing baby boy. Might die. <laughs> what? Might die. There's a lot of death around at the moment, isn't there? You know, diseases, accidents, murder. <laughs> well? Oh, no, we're still discussing it. I'll be in touch. Liberating doing dastardly death to the Diddy Dauphin, is she? No, 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 no. Why are you big against that, would you? Not half. Honestly. Let's sit out. Come in, come in. Look out here. Look. Look out of that window. What do you see? A uh, bird shed? No. <laughs> France! France! Have you any idea how much that's worth? Uh, I mean, all the dreary bits of... Oh, we've got hogs and, and truffles and, and ships all around the edges. Ships. Huge frigates bearing, bearing exotic spices from Bulgaria. <laughs> My son, Lisette, would own everything. Guadeloupe. All the little Guadeloupeites sending, sending greetings to me, to me, her big majesty mama over the water. Balls, banquets. Your husband, madame, who, informed of your delicate health, rode no, like the no, very no, wind it's... <laughs> Balls, banquets, stage openings of things, Lisette, that would have to, to stay closed if I just couldn't be buggered to get up and open them. <laughs> just think about it. Jewels and power, Lisette. Jewels and power, the whole court bowing and scraping at our feet. Imagine it. <gasps> our necks and fingers glittering with, with priceless ocelots from, from deeper Sweden. Imagine, we would have everything, Lizette. Great ships of gold, palaces of power, vats of chocolate. All right, sold. Yeah. <laughs> How much are you paying to knock the kid off? Oh, well, he's very cheap. He's only part-time, you know. <laughs> Madame, mm -hmm. we must needs maintain silence <gasps> regarding le père de l'enfant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I, oh, I. Don't tell anyone who the father, the father is. is. <laughs> One word in le direction faux. Wrong direction. <laughs> we must needs surely be undone. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> something so melodramatic. Who's going to say anything? I was tricked. <laughs> well, was the name of the father revealed? A great many things were revealed. <laughs> At least two of which caused him some astonishment. <laughs> Who is it? Oh, Mama, I cannot. I have been sworn to secrecy. Oh, Evelyn! Everyone swears everyone to secrecy. It's the only way one can tell whether something's worth spreading around. <laughs> Who is the father of her child? No! Her Majesty! I must see Her Majesty! You have betrayed me, Monsieur. Yeah. Thanks to you, all is as naught and everything is put asunder. No, <laughs> oh, sorry, isn't it? I no, thought no. it was. Well, you see, I'm still giving birth to the king's child and he has no heir. Uh, the king no. has a very healthy son. Oh, well, she's yeah. wanting to have... Pike and Pumper! <laughs> so I feel sure that in time Marcel will be king. Who? But Marcel. 
I think, madame, it would have to be Louis. No, oh, I don't see why. Because, madame, they are always Louis. Really? Louis the first was a Louis. Louis the tenth was a what? definite Louis. <laughs> Louis the seventeenth cannot be a Marcel. Imagine the confusion. What if it's a girl? Louise. Mm, no, oh, it can't be a girl. I need a male. That's not as easy as it used to be. <laughs> well, they do say, madame, that if it kicks, it's male. Do they? Yeah. What is that? Kicked? Oh. Kicked? No, 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 kicked. Oh, you're having yes, me on. No, no, listen, listen, listen. It kicked. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I listen, it kicked. Huh? No, no I don't oh, think that was a kick. <laughs> Madame hasn't eaten anything that disagreed with her, has she? Ah, oh, there she is! <gasps> There's the she-wolf! Who is it who dares wins enters my lady's apartments uninvited? <laughs> Madam, and Her Majesty also dares. Oh, hello. <laughs> what's that? What's that? Did I not tell you, ma'am? Thus, there, there is the confirmation. Oh, oh such perfidy. Oh, such. <laughs> oh, shameful deceit. Oh, but there. In the very bowels of she who glories in your majesty's friendship, there grows none other than... Madame looks a little unwell. Uh, no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, 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 quite sure. <laughs> That's done it. Thank you.